minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go Sirius. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 32 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In just a few seconds, we'll throttle the engines down in preparation for max Q, which is a period of maximum aerodynamic Power pressure telemetry nominal. on the vehicle. We just heard that good call out. Now during ascent, we tilt the engines, which is also known as gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. It's what we call a gravity turn. So at this point, the vehicle is still going up, but now Falcon we are also... Falcon 9 is supersonic. We just heard that supersonic call out, uh, but now we are also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Max Q. So the rocket has now just passed through Max Q, where it experiences the greatest mechanical stress in flight. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can keep an eye on the stage one telemetry on the bottom of your screen. And that now, we have, now we have several events coming up in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by mission control, starting with main engine cutoff, or MECO, then stage separation, SES-1, and fairing separation. MECO is where we shut down all nine M1D engines on the first stage. Stage separation is when the first and second stages of Falcon separate from one another. And second engine start one, or SES-1, is when we'll light the MVAC engine on the second stage for the first time. Less than a minute after that, the fairing will then jettison from the second stage, as it's no longer needed to protect the payload once we're in space. So keep an eye out for these events that are going to happen back to back, all coming up in about 15 seconds from now. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And there you heard and saw those events that happened back to back, which again were MECO, stage separation, and SES-1. Next up will be fairing separation coming up in about 20 seconds here. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard fairing separation confirmed and saw that fairing separating. Uh, now, as we mentioned earlier, we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again once they fall back to Earth. They will be taken back to shore by our ocean recovery vessel, Doug. It's now T plus four minutes and 17 seconds into today's mission. At about T plus six minutes, you should see on your screen the first Both stages- Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. The first stage is entry burn. Great call out there. To start the entry burn, we will relight three M1D engines, starting with the center engine, known as E9, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines, which is similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow 
we need to slow down to reduce reentry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we are still moving really fast. This causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot onto the vehicle's surface. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. And oftentimes, prior to launch, you can see that soot from prior flights on the first stage. Now, as you can see on your screen, the second stage is still picking up speed and heading to its destined orbit. We're going just over 13,000 kilometers an hour here. We've got just about another 20 seconds here until that entry burn starts, which typically lasts for about 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. So engines one, five, and nine have all relit for the entry burn. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing this entry burn for its eighth time. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. Stage one entry burn shut down. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level. These achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and descent. At liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage has thrust greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. The MVAC engine, which, uh, which has a much wider nozzle than the M1D, is optimized to 220,000 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up next, we will start our landing burn on the first stage, followed quickly by MVAC engine shutdown on the second stage. During the landing burn, only the center engine, engine stage nine, two is in terminal guidance. will be used to stage land the vehicle transonic. on the drone ship. So that should be starting up in about 20 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. Stage two FTS is saved. Landing led deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Nominal orbit insertion. So we just had confirmation of nominal orbital insertion for the second stage.